Welcome to Weather Trends website walkthrough and a look at our reports tool. The reports tool is essentially an archive, a repository of Weather Trends institutional content. In the upper left, reports are categorized as such historical, weekly, long range, analysis, energy ag, as well as miscellaneous. We've downloaded a PDF of July 2014 for the United States. As you can see, you get a color-coded representation of the weekly actual temperature trends versus last year. You also get the weekly actual precip trends against last year. As you can see, through the regional representation, eight different regions throughout the United States, we can clearly see that the southeast region was the coolest in 23 years, while the northwest United States had its warmest July over the last 23 years. Just below that, a national color bar glance at the cooler and warmer trends for the month of July. And accompanying those elements is a synopsis of temperatures, precipitation, the activity in the tropics, as well as a review of all the retail impacts for the month of July. Scrolling down the page now, on the left you will see a color-coded view of how July fared across the United States in July 2014 weekly rankings versus normal over the last 23 years. To the right, you get a regional breakdown with numbers for specific locations. And on the bottom left of the page gives a year-over-year -year review of how the weather pattern impacted retail. We can see a surge of heat in retail week three in the north was a good time to clear some summer categories like apparel and footwear valuable and crucial information that we provide for our clients. We're now looking at our next category, our weekly update, in this instance, September 2nd. A lot of information and insightful weather guidance here. Firstly, a look at the previous week. As we can see, temperatures were a little colder than last year, but above normal. Precip was 19% more than last year, but still below normal. And you also get a synopsis of what happened in the past week. Hot weather in the south has been favorable for beverage sales, sun care, and ice cream. Then up here at the top of the page, you can look four weeks out temperature-wise as well as precip, and then you get a two-week synopsis of the weather ahead with headlines representing what to be expected. Additionally, you get temperature and precip color bars going back 11 weeks observed and looking ahead four weeks. Scrolling down, you get a weather summary of the past week per market with a look at specific cities, followed by a two-week look ahead for said regions and cities. And then a regional view of five-week trends versus last year and a two-week outlook. The final weather guidance offering in the weekly category is a temperature precip representation versus the 30-year normal. Here's a look at last week versus normal. Then a look ahead for the next two weeks. And then color bars of a national last week summary year over year, plus a 28-day outlook year over year showing cooler in the beginning of September, but significant pronounced warming in the second half of September. Next up, long range reports. For our purposes here, we're going to go U.S. long range forecast, March 2015. We've already downloaded the PDF of March 2015. We're hoping for a warm up, and this March 2015 temperature map shows warmer to much warmer year in the eastern two thirds of the United States, cooler in the west year over year, and wetter than last year in the west as well as the central United States. You can view a recap of March 2014 and what to expect in March of 2015 weather-wise, and an outlook for things like TV advertising, media and marketing, as well as sales trends. Week-to-week -week weather guidance is also represented in color-coded maps, as you can clearly see. We get insight on product implications, energy consumption, as well as snowfall. What kind of snow are we going to expect in March of 2015? Need to know that kind of information as well, and it's offered. The color-coded national temperature trends against last year shows warmer to much warmer than last March. Now for the final three categories of our reports tool. The analysis category would basically give you something like a 2014 hurricane forecast. The energy and ag category, a weekly basis, a weekly report in sectors like dairy, grains, U.S. energy, as well as world sugar. And the miscellaneous category, there you see it a bevy of different 
offerings for our purposes. How about the G20 August 2014 summary, a look at temperatures and precipitation, as well as business trends, color-coded tables, year-over-year -year trends in a variety of nations. That concludes our look at the reports tool at weathertrends360.com. We hope the use of this tool, as well as our other offerings, brings you better business in any weather.